In today's lesson, I'll be clarifying the difference between projection and discernment. Psychological projection is a mechanism that involves attributing one's own thoughts, feelings, or motives onto another person. In simpler terms, it is when someone unconsciously places their own qualities or emotions onto someone else, often without realizing that they are doing so. While psychological projection is normally associated with negative thoughts or feelings, this can also be positive. So as you go through these lessons and as you recover, understand that you should not be projecting your consciousness onto anyone, especially pathological narcissists. What you should be doing instead is discerning, which we'll get to in just a bit. Now, here is how psychological projection works and some key points to understand. Projection occurs at a subconscious level. The person projecting their feelings or thoughts onto others is usually unaware of their own emotions or qualities, making it challenging for them to recognize this behavior in themselves. People sometimes engage in projection as a way to cope with emotions or impulses they may find distressing, shameful, or unacceptable. By projecting these feelings onto someone else, they can avoid facing and dealing with these emotions within themselves. Projection can involve blaming others for thoughts, feelings, or behaviors that the person engaging in projection is actually experiencing. For example, someone who is feeling jealous might accuse their partner of being jealous instead. Projection often helps individuals preserve their self-image by seeing negative qualities as belonging to others rather than themselves. They can maintain a positive self-image and avoid feelings of guilt, shame, or inadequacy. Projection can become dangerous when one is projecting positive qualities on another where these qualities simply do not exist. This is what we mean when we say that someone is viewing life through rose-colored lenses. As it relates to relationship dynamics, psychological projection can impact relationships significantly. Misunderstandings and conflicts may arise when one person projects their feelings onto another, leading to tension and communication breakdown. It is essential to recognize and understand psychological projection both in oneself and in others to maintain healthier relationships and improve self-awareness. Encouraging open communication, empathy, and self-reflection can help individuals identify and address projection tendencies. With projection covered, let's go ahead and discuss discernment. Discernment is the ability to judge, perceive, and evaluate situations, people, or issues with keen insight, wisdom, and good judgment. It involves the capacity to distinguish between right and wrong, truth and falsehood, or the appropriate course of action among several different alternatives. Discernment is often associated with a deep understanding of insight and intuition, allowing an individual to make sound decisions or interpretations. Here are six key aspects of discernment. Number one, critical thinking. Discernment involves analyzing information critically and evaluating it objectively. It requires the ability to assess different viewpoints, question assumptions, and consider the context before making a judgment. Number two, wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to apply knowledge and experience to make sound decisions. Discernment often comes with wisdom as it incorporates life lessons and a broader understanding of human behavior and situations. Number three, intuition. Intuition sometimes is referred to as a gut feeling. It is an important component of discernment. It is the ability to understand or know something without the need for conscious reasoning. This is because intuitive discernment relies on subconscious cues and insights. Number four, spiritual or moral insight. 
in a spiritual or moral context. Discernment refers to the ability to perceive the will of a higher power, moral truth, or ethical principles. It helps individuals make decisions aligned with their spiritual beliefs or moral values. Number five, emotional intelligence. Discernment involves understanding not only the situation, but also the emotions and intentions of oneself and the others involved. Emotional intelligence allows individuals to empathize, recognize emotional cues, and make judgments considering the emotional context. Number six, decision making. Discernment plays a crucial role in the decision-making process. It helps individuals weigh options, assess risks, and anticipate consequences before making decisions. People with strong discernment skills are often sought after for advice and guidance because their ability to perceive and evaluate situations accurately can lead to well-informed decisions and wise counsel. Developing discernment requires a combination of life experience, knowledge, critical thinking, and self-awareness. In closing, understand that discernment is the skill that you should be developing. And while you may project from time to time, it is your discerning ability that will lead you forward in making decisions that are in your best interest and in others' best interest around you. As an empathetic, kind person, understand that everyone does not think like you. So if you project your empathy and kindness and compassion on someone like a pathological narcissist that is empathy impaired, you are projecting something that does not exist. This is why it is best to discern what is in front of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.